Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to do a review and an educational piece because the instructions aren't that great on the MSR Hyperflow filter, which uses hollow fiber technology. Now, when you receive it, it comes in this box, and it comes with an owner's manual, but uh, it's much better than that. It comes in English with a manual that I found difficult to understand because I wasn't familiar. I guess if you once you had seen everything work once in this manual it would be great, but for the person that's never seen this before, it was difficult for me. It took me about an hour to sort through it. And uh, that's the reason why I'm doing this because I don't want you to have to have as much problem as I did. So anyway, it comes with an English manual. And it also comes with uh, exactly the same size uh, Spanish, French, Dutch, Italian, German, Japanese, Russian, and I believe this one is Czechoslovakian. So needless to say, plenty of paper material, but the only thing that probably, if you're understanding what I'm saying, <laughs> the only thing you'll need is this American one. Okay, now I'm going to move the camera in closer and we'll do a teardown of this and go through all the particulars of it. Okay, the basics of this are the pump. Let me get everything out of the way here. Are your basic pump with a sanitary cap on it and the hose that leads to your pre filter, which has a Velcro strap that will strap around the pump for storage. And it has a big area, which is good, with a very, very fine mesh filter. You can't even see the holes in it, it's so fine. Okay, now to tear this down, I'm going to remove the pickup hose from the pickup end. As you look at it, this is the end that picks up the dirty water and the clean water comes out here. Now this comes with a sanitary cap on it and this is threaded with a really weird old thread. Okay, and it also comes with this which screws onto a Nalgene bottle. And when you remove this cap from the filter, it's designed to go right on here to prevent what they say cross-contamination. And this fits on a standard Nalgene bottle. And then this fits on here like this. So once you have it all hooked up, you pump like this, okay? Okay, let's take that off of there. I've got the sanitary cap off of here. Now let's see how this is built. Okay, this is field flushable. That means you can clean it in the field. If you're pumping it and it starts pumping hard, pump another half a liter for water to back flush it with. Then, here's the back flush technology. You take this end, which is the end that the dirty water comes in, and you turn it counterclockwise about three times, it comes apart. When you put it back together, it has a bumper right here that comes up against so you can only screw it on so far. You take that off, and inside you'll see a valve, which is pointing right up, pointing right towards you. Take that valve out, put it in upside down so that you can't see the protrusion in it anymore. Set that aside. Now take the main body and extend it out, and this is a piston with an O-ring on it. You put it up here and move it around a little bit, you probably can hear that. It'll lock into this collar up here. Once it locks in, turn it, and that'll screw the filter body out of the piston and inside you'll see another valve facing right up looking at you. Put that in upside down. Okay now you've got both valves upside down so you can't see the protrusion on them. Now I'll go one step further so you can see how the whole thing works. This is a filter cartridge. Now you don't have to take this out to back flush it but I'm going to take it out kind of turn it counterclockwise hang on to the body and I'm going to show it to you. Okay this has hollow fiber tubes in it. Looks there's thousands of them in there, I guess. There's holes in the end of them which are maybe a couple of thousands. Now these look like they were embedded in epoxy and then cut off afterwards. That's how they uh, captured all of them. Okay, now when you go to back flush, you can screw this right back in. And by the way, the big end goes up, the end with all the filters in it goes up. Screw it in. Don't over screw it, but screw it in 
until you, you'll feel it bottom. Okay, now, I've got this valve in upside down so I can't see the, the protrusion on it. And I'm going to screw that right back on and then unlock it and slide it down a bit. I've got this end with the valve pointing down so you can't see it. And I'm going to screw that back on again. Okay, now, just for a reality check to make you sure you've got it in the back flush mode, put your thumb over what is normally the inlet and pump. It shouldn't suck, but when you go down, it should blow. Okay? Now, you've got it so that you go to push it together with your thumb over the, what is normally the inlet. So now it's going to be suck in here and blow in here. So you take what's normally the outlet that has a clean water and you put that, okay,